from has like a little bit of strength, just pull it, that thing will inflate. Okay. And then also if we have a life raft. I mean, we're not gonna need these things though. No, no, I just wanna Remind. let you know that they're here in case, you know, there's yeah. a situation. Life raft, the way it works, it has, you know, it has a little handle, you just have to rip that, that up and then pops out. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Great. That's comforting. Let's just be ready to land. So I'm in charge of operations for a chain of pawn shops, uh, which originally started in the Caribbean, is now branched out into the US. So we've got stores ranging from Orlando, Florida, as far south as Barbados, which is basically Central America. Our stores are located, we've got uh, five in Jamaica, uh, two in the Bahamas, three in Turks and Caicos, Barbados, St. Kitts, Antigua, Grenada, Dominica, St. Vincent. So I um, basically spend my time traveling to stores generally try to carve myself out some free time when I'm in the islands to explore, see what, uh, what the local cultures have to offer. Little things. What about it? That one little thing right there is worth probably ten to twelve thousand dollars. That's a nice one, but we've had a lot nicer ones. We sold one for one hundred and fifteen thousand last year. One little pearl. So I sold it to a middleman. That's not even what the end user paid. That thing ended up probably as the centerpiece of a nice necklace that was worth a million bucks. So when a customer comes in here, they either have stuff that they don't want to get rid of anymore, they just come in here, we negotiate a price, they dump it, we try to make a good deal so that we can resell it and make some money. Um, alternatively, they've got an item that they really don't want to get rid of, but they need some money, they need to get by to their next paycheck uh, or something that's coming in. So we'll offer them an option to like a pawn in the United States where we give somebody a certain amount of money, we keep it safe back here and they have up to 30 days to come in and make a payment or pick it up. So the balance is the com is the value of all those things combined that you have? Yeah, it's the amount that we've given out, so not necessarily <laughs> the value. 239,000, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. We are, we, we working on that's more That's number stuff, three in the company. We trying to try to get in more. more. Yeah, always try to get in more. Because we have that 300,000 number. If you see our, our um, service charges, it's a little tight. So I feel like more points we get, more more money, the bottom line. What's the biggest item that you guys ha uh, have done a loan on, like currently? Um, well, earlier this year, but now we just do with the cars. We do like 3500 on a car. Oh yeah? That was, a, that was actually a good car. The average uh, buyback option here is probably less than $200. So our average deals Every are, are, right are small, small deals. We've done big deals here. We've done a few hundred thousand dollar deals here. What? On um, what? Real estate, boats, cars. Real estate? Mm-hmm. People can pawn real estate. Yeah. They have here in Freeport yep, a couple times. They did, as long as they have their paperwork. And... I mean, all kinds of stuff. I mean, the one that did the most. He brought in Salvador cars. Dali paintings, uh, bricks of platinum and gold. <laughs> What's like the weirdest thing you've seen? The weirdest thing? It would have to be this girl. She, she was sell, trying to sell us that toy collection. Did you buy it? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> a used, it. a used toy collection, she, huh? I, she have like a briefcase. Once it pop up, everything just open up and like. <laughs> 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 
Mommy. She came with a briefcase. I was like, all right, what do you have today? What do you want to do? She was like, I have some stuff, but I don't know if I can pop it open. Yeah. She's more worried about me than her. <laughs> She's ready to just pop it open. Something. I'm going to go check out this car. Ready? Yeah. Let's go check it out. This is what we're whipping? Let's see, if we can get, see if we can get it running. It's a Mercury Grand Marquis, but I don't even know what year it is. 1974 would be my guess. Imagine. So I'm really hoping we get to drive this. If not, I gotta go rent a car. But this car's way better for off-roading than the rental, so. <laughs> what? That's it. The, the, the pump is not working or yeah, the pump's not. Try it. That sucks. That's me, man. That's what I'm saying. If that's what I'm in for, you don't need to be suing you, man. Come hey, on, man. Man. give me some more. Where can I get a conch salad around here, man? Oh, conch salad. Conch salad is gone. No way. You gotta go. Conch salad is gone. No way, man. You gotta go. I'm uh, man. Conch salad is. What up? Where conch salad selling club? I hope you get a big fat one right now. Uh, I'll find five one. <laughs> I hope you get a big 10 carat one right now. Uh, I can find my carat again. Let's check the pocket over here. Look at the one. You got one in your pocket? Yeah. For real? I don't talk shit. I did when I came but here to, to get conks out, I didn't know I was gonna be digging in your pockets. This pulled out of a uh, conk? Yeah. That's only one dollar one. Yeah, that has like zero gloss and it's light. So what do you do? What do you do to it right there? Just, uh, just clean it. Just clean oh, it. you clean it with the lime? Yeah. You can't get a lot of slime off it. Just uh, all the guts coming out of it. Oh, everything. Guts. Yeah. All right, it'll be right, you know. You got what's now? Huh? How do you get your comp? Uh, from the west. You west go there. get it or fishing may come drop it off? My, 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 my cousin, yeah. That's what get to it now because they can take the bar. You say you like it spicy? I like spicy, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put some I'll pepper in it right now. What kind of pepper they use? Yeah, that's uh ghost pepper. Yeah. How long ago? Yeah man, ready alright. How long have you been doing this here? I do construction work, this is the way it passes. All my family's doing this, and they want it, you know. Taste it one more pepper, I'll get you. Damn, that looks tasty. good. All right, Donnie. Uh, guys, you all take care. All right, Donnie. All right, you all take care. Later, man. All right, yeah. Day two. Search of the hole. What's up? Hey. What's up, man? Is, is this where the blue hole is? Yeah, that way. But I, I find it. I go on walking down this way. I, I mean, driving on right to the end. You, you want me to show you where it's at? No one. Huh? No. Okay. You want me to show you where it's at? Okay. I was guessing. Follow me if you want to see. Okay. All right. You never been here before? 
So today you're just looking for the hole? Yeah, I do be. <laughs> really? Going back down that way. Going back this way. Good find the top. how deep it is there's just like a silt over it because tide hasn't moved this water goes out to the ocean it's clean i'm guessing it's deep enough i'm not jumping you guys need a pilot to take you to the hospital so. that's true <laughs> I think six miles of underwater map cave systems here that crazy divers have gone and just exploratory right into the pitch black and mapped the caves. And that's not all the caves that are there, that's just what's mapped. Time to get to the airport, jump on the plane and get home. Back to the real world. On to the next island. <laughs> 